the dream Tuesday. Police Chief Brad Kunze of Bell Fountain, Ohio, has some explaining to do. He's in charge of the investigation into the murder of Jim Arthur, husband of Playboy's Miss January. But now he is accused of sexual harassment by this woman, his police dispatcher. She says the chief traded pictures of Miss January for naughty photos of her. The citizens will be happy when we get this put behind us. Five months after Jim Arthur was shot dead on Main Street, the people of Bell Fountain still have not put the Miss January murder case behind them. My husband! A man named James Lindbergh came all the way from California looking for Stacy Arthur. He had seen her Playboy centerfold. He talked to her for hours on Playboy's 900 number phone line. He was in town for days before he shot Stacy's husband dead on the street, then killed himself. It seemed an open and shut case, but in the months that followed, the mystery deepened about how well Stacy knew the killer and why James Lindbergh sold his house and came to town. I can't say that I don't feel very remorseful about what happened, but I, am, I don't feel that I am responsible. Through it all, this man, Police Chief Brad Coonsey, has said little. We are still evaluating evidence in this case. It is an ongoing investigation. Five months later, and the biggest murder case in Bell Fountain history is still open. I see no reason to, to muddy waters over, over uh, items that may not be related at all. And now, the police chief is fresh off a five-day suspension after this woman accused him of sexual harassment. Police dispatcher Christina Graham says the chief invited her to stand naked and dance on top of a file cabinet. She says the chief constantly made sexual remarks to her. She says her former husband gave the chief naked pictures of her, and in return the chief gave him an autographed publicity photo of Miss January, Stacy Arthur. Christina filed sex discrimination charges with the Ohio Civil Rights Commission. After a five-week investigation, the city suspended the chief for making rude comments, nothing more. But the police union wants his job. Meanwhile, the question remains, what effect does this latest secret scandal have on the Miss January murder investigation? It's very frustrating to be in my shoes. Um, I have to sit back and say, okay, I'll wait. And that's not easy. Joining us now from Columbus, Ohio, Christina Graham. Thanks for joining us, Christina. And what in the world?